Hey guys, Dan the Man here and today we're going to compare the video quality of a front facing camera of a smartphone which is recording at 1080p and it's about 5 megapixels which is, that, which is the standard for most smartphones today uh, with one of these a DSLR to see that if actually your front facing camera is good enough for your video blogging and things like that and you don't have to actually spend a lot on uh, buying a camera so maybe you guys can just use your uh, front facing camera for doing video bloggings and things like that I have two LED kits uh, in front of me right now one on the left and one on the right side as uh, you guys can't actually see it. So this is how actually it looks like and I've actually attached a microphone to um, to the smartphone that I'm using right now. It's kind of hard actually to concentrate you know on the tiny camera near the earpiece of the phone. Now we're gonna switch to the DSLR and see if actually the front facing camera is good enough for your daily use. So right now I'm recording on the DSLR as you can see, you guys have to actually be the judge here. Of course, the quality of the video is going to be a lot better on the DSLR compared to the smartphone. But if you're actually on a budget, you don't actually have to go and spend a lot on buying a DSLR. Of course, it's going to look a lot better. Uh, that's what it's made for, for taking good pictures and good videos. But you can do the same with this. And what's important is the lightning. If you actually would spend on a very cheap lightning kit, you could get like the two of them with the lamps and everything for about 30 to 40 or 50 bucks, depending on where you're buying it and how well the quality is. Or you could do a DIY one, or you could just shoot in daylight. daylight I mean is free light and you can use it for uh, your videos and things that you want to do so uh, for basic and stuff for starters they can just use their smartphone and they don't actually have to spend a whole a lot on buying a camera but of course uh, it's gonna look a lot better on the DSLR as I mentioned before but you could actually spend on a cheap microphone like the Boya M1 which is about 30 bucks and it, it can connect it to your phone or to your camera so you can actually capture good quality um, um, you can capture your voice and as you speak and all that so that's pretty much about it I'll let you guys be the judge but if you are on a, are on a budget you can just use your phone or uh, you can actually uh, edit the uh, video with uh, like with these editing software so you don't have to you can actually adjust the quality of the video while editing everything is important lighting is important and of course the sound as well but anyways that's pretty much about it i'll let you guys be the judge thanks for watching